So today at work, I was asked to rip a bunch of old dance recital DVDs. And each DVD has like a chapter for each performance, and each DVD has about 40 performances. So I busted out my trusty copy of Handbrake, but I found out that it only rips the entire DVD as one file. And now I looked it up trying to rich, rip each chapter as a separate file, and I got a lot of PowerShell scripts and other things that are just a little bit complicated for, for something. And I got a lot to do. Like, I mean, I got a lot of DVDs I got to rip. So... What I want to do is, without using a script, I want to figure out how to rip the DVD. And each file will be its own, or each chapter will be its own file. So this is what I did. There's only a couple things, and it's pretty easy, and you don't need to use PowerShell scripts. First of all, you need to add um, auto naming right here, the file format. If you look in the example, they have chapters. So I do that, and that'll make sure each file is unique. The next thing I want to do is I want to browse to where I want this to go. Now I've already set up a folder, so I'm going to go into DVD ripping, and there we go. So this is kind of ripping the name from the DVD. I probably want to do something better, so let's look at the DVD cover. This is uh, June 6, 2006. So 2006, 6, that's good. DVD 2, because this is disc 2. Hold on, let me double check this. Yes, this is disc 2 of 2, so D2. So I'll save that, and that should give me everything I need. So what I need to do now is I want to use the queue in it. And I tried all these ways because the queue actually has an add all feature, but it's not really very good. And I think everybody's moved on from using DVDs because they're such old technology. So I don't even know how useful this tutorial is going to be. So now that I've updated the file, the only other thing to remember here is the titles. It looks like there's a behind the scenes thing as well as the main stuff. So here's the actual dance performances. These are all I really care about. So what I wanna do is select chapter one, chapter one, and I wanna just, just double check the keyboard shortcut. Control A adds the current one. So if I press Control A, that's great. But now, do we want to click through and do each of these one manually, which would take forever? No. But do I want to look up how to write a PowerShell for this? No. So what I do is I press right on the arrow key with the box highlighted, and it goes immediately to two, and I press Control A, right, Control A, right, Control A, right, Control A, until it's all the way loaded. And that way, I have a whole queue, and I can do the DVD. Once I got this rhythm down, I can do a DVD and set it up in about like two or three minutes. And that's how you rip a DVD with a bunch of chapters and rip each chapter individually as a file and do it quickly without using a script in PowerShell. Mm -hmm.